Not only are many Sunwing customers voicing their frustration directly with the airline, some passengers are now considering a class action lawsuit. Melissa Cummings is an avid traveler. She and her partner were stranded in Mexico. They're now finally back home in Ottawa. Melissa, welcome home. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you've been through over the past week or so? Um, it was a complete nightmare, pure stress. Um, Monday, when we were supposed to travel home, uh, we were wait waiting for our transport from Sunwing to come pick us up as scheduled. And it kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And finally, around 7, 7.30 p.m., I could not get a hold of anybody at Sunwing in Canada, nor their reps in Mexico, their Nexus tour reps. And we were stranded. We, um, the hotel that we stayed at didn't have any room for us to stay. We ended up sleeping on the park benches outside the resort, trying to get a hold of people to be able to help us figure out if we could get a transport to the airport or not. It was quite scary and quite nerve wracking. I mean, that's pretty incredible to be staying on the park benches outside of the resort. There's no space for you. And there were so many people who were in this similar situation. I'm not sure what they were doing, if they were on the park bench with you too. What sort of conversations were you having with people who might have um, also been on that flight? When we made it to the airport the next morning, we finally broke down and got a cab at four in the morning just to see if we could get information at the airport. When we got to the airport at five o'clock in the morning, there was nobody there to help us. Like there was no Sunwing representative at the desk, at the counter. And I finally did get through to the Nexus people around five in the morning and they said that their systems um, were not up and running so they could not find us, they could not book us. On top of everything, the app that Sunwing uses um, for pre-travel, in-travel and post-travel had us already home in Canada, which was kind of nerve wracking. In conversation with several people at the airport, there were families sleeping in the lobbies, sleeping outside, just completely stressed out. Some people came to the airport at midnight that night to try to figure out what was going on at their own expense and ended up sleeping on the airport floor for a good, you know, 10 to 12 hours on top of the whole chaos on Tuesday. Probably what's so remarkable to so many people, and I've seen a lot of this be documented too, that they can't get in touch with Sunwing. Yeah. How difficult was that struggle for you? And especially probably alarming that it said that you were already back home. It, it was quite alarming because um, by the time I did get a hold of somebody on Sunwing, it was maybe 10 o'clock Tuesday morning after like a good five hours of not having any information at all. Um, they did send their Nexus reps to help us, but these are the people who normally book, you know, the, the tours and the transports. They didn't really have any information yeah, except saying that there was no flight, there was no flight. But when I finally got a hold of somebody at 10 o'clock in the morning, they were really confused at Sunwing because it did say on their end that we did have a flight. And also that I was already returned home. Um, that was the one conversation I did have, but any other conversations after, people kept hung hanging up on me and, or referring us to the rep at the location, which, I, as I said, they were not helpful whatsoever. You know, and I, just... I think I spent Every day, I think I spent probably an hour to two hours trying to get a hold of somebody at Sunwing to no avail. What an ordeal. You know, I'm just wanting, wanting to know, too, how you're dealing with all of this. Because right now, of course, you're back home, finally. Uh, so Ooh. you've had a chance to kind of reflect on it all. But what was it like to sort of be in this really unusual situation and really inconvenient, too? It was... Um, I travel often, like I've taken my daughter backpacking in the Amazon jungle and so I'm used to a lot of adventure travel per se, right? Um, but I always had a sense of control or I had somebody that I could talk to if the flight was delayed or be informed of my choices or what was happening. This was really nerve wracking because we were put into a hotel finally, um, I want to say around 6 o'clock Tuesday evening. But each day we had to get up, we had to pack our stuff, check out, and then sit around the lobby for four or five hours to figure out if we had a new place to stay or if we didn't have a place to stay or if we were going home. And I keep saying this, but we had to rely on the reps who are used to booking just tours. They have no information from Sunwing. They're actually not Sunwing employees. So each day it was nerve wracking. It was like, where am I sleeping? Am I going home? Um, 
why can't I get information from Canada to tell me like what's happening? I don't need a direct flight information, but at least tell me what my choices are, what my options are, and provide a little bit of stability. It was scary. It was really nerve wracking. I can imagine it would be. And, you know, certainly very stressful. And you likely had to incur many more costs. And you told my producers that you're looking at talking to a lawyer as well. Tell me what your next steps are. Um, well, now that I'm like recovered and I slept for a few days and I feel more human after all this, I'm going to be contacting a lawyer tomorrow to see what my, what my rights are in this matter. I do understand that we have protection of the Bill of Rights, um, but I feel like I'm due more compensation for this. For example, the $250 American tax I had to take Monday or early Tuesday morning to get information. Um, the taxi that I had to take from the resort to the airport Friday morning to get a flight. Also, just little expenses that we occurred. It wasn't like they dropped us off somewhere where we could go to Walmart or to a local store to get supplies and medication. For example, um, I'm really allergic to molds, and most of the rooms that they placed us in was filled with mold, so I had to break down and buy $40 American allergy pills for this. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for compensation for that. Um, on top of the emotional distress of being stranded outside a resort in the middle of nowhere in Mexico with no supports.